Hey, and welcome to this, your Moment of Purpose podcast. You are right here listening to this and thank you. Now take a moment to consider. Think about the many events that happened over the course of your life. How many of those have left a mark on you? You see, life is made up of ever-changing moments. Some may be moments of joy, peace, comfort, laughter, and some may be just sheer happiness. Others may be moments of doubt, fear, challenges, anger, and even sorrow. Yet these are all moments of purpose, always happening to push us into new realms of greater learning and endless possibilities. Some of these moments were in the past. Others we experience in the now. And even those that we will have in the future, they will always be our moments in time. And they are moments of purpose and we will be better for them. For me, there has been several times throughout the course of my life that I had to pause for moments to remind myself that no matter what happened, I will be better for it. So whatever the moments are and will ever be in your life, I encourage you to use them to listen, to learn, or just to lean in. Make them moments of silence. At other times, you just look for clarity. And even moments when you just pause to pray. Those will become your most powerful and cherished moments in time. And they are all moments of purpose. So before I go any further into this episode... This podcast is for those who can clearly look back at the moments and see how those moments were all united for a purpose, can understand and resolve the moments that happened in their lives, knowing that those have been some moments of purpose. On this podcast, I will share many of my own moments so that others can be encouraged, inspired, and even reinforced. There are many who have had similar moments, but you kept them to yourself. I hope in us sharing all of these different moments, whether by myself or with my guest, you will know that it is okay to have those moments. And so I'm here telling you, it's okay to share those moments. It is my hope that as you listen, once again, you'll be encouraged and you will feel free to release yourself of any moment that no longer serve you well. Make your own notes based on the encouragement. And please, invite someone else to listen to this podcast and share with us. Because someone else needs to hear about the different moments in time. And as I talk about moments in time, I remember when we were much younger. My sisters and I, we loved the rain. We could not wait for the many seasons to arrive. We, 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 we were just waiting for the rain to come, especially when it was light showers. In summer, we used to grow like almost weary of waiting because the summers were hot and we were weary of waiting for the, for the rain to come. And sometimes we would go out and make imaginary showers for ourselves by throwing up in the air big buckets of water and allow it to come down as if it was showers coming down. 
And guess what? Our only intention was to get the ground wet enough to step in and to create our own footprints in the mud, our own footprints in time. And we would cherish those footprints when we made them for a long time until when the heavy showers came and it, and it washed them away and we could no longer see the footprints. And as I think about those footprints and the different moments in time and the moments of purpose, I am reminded that all over the world, men and women have left their footprints in the sands of time. In many places where it was not possible for them to leave their footprints, they would build monuments and, and they would erect signs. Some would carve out markings or writings as evidence that they have passed that way before. Other persons, when they have visited places such as the beach, they would try to leave their footprints in the sand. But sadly, as the waves beat upon the shore and the waters lash, I would say to and fro, the footprints are erased. And so I say physical footprints are important, but they are not as important as the footprints, as the, as the imprints that we leave upon the hearts of others by the deeds of kindness that we do every day. You see, some footprints are marked by challenges that, that have been overcome. And, and more so the life-size gi giants that have, you know, been conquered. And I know that many of you can, can really identify with that. But we were all created for a, a special purpose. And much of that purpose is to leave our footprints in the sands of time. To make our mark along the different paths and the different journeys of our life. And I know that in my own life, I have made many footprints. I've left many footprints in the sands of time. And some of these have really been my most cherished moments. You know, as I talk about cherished moments, I remember when for years I would talk about, I'm going to visit um, Paris and I'm going to visit France. And I have been saying this for many years. I am going to visit Paris. I'm going to visit France. And, and this is to show you how the, the, the power of the spoken word can bring your moments into time. And those moments will be your moments of purpose. And after saying this for about maybe 10 years, 11 years, I think finally don't ask me the steps that i took but i know that it came into being it happened and i was able to visit france yes paris and i remember after leaving the eiffel tower and i'm, I'm actually looking at the little at the road that we walked from the eiffel tower coming a little more into this into the city I felt as if I needed to leave a mark. I needed to leave a moment in time. I needed to leave something of purpose. And I remember taking my, my, my nail clip out of my bag and I started to write on the pavement. And when I think back about it, I said that was a moment in time. That was a moment of purpose, something that I can look back at 15 years later. That after talking about it consistently, I brought it into being, I manifested it and it did happen. That was a moment in time. So before you listen to me any further, enough of me talking about my moment in time. I want you to pause and think about the moments that you have had along your own journey. What marks, what 
footprints, what moments can you think about at this time? What footprints were you able to leave in the sands of time? These could be footprints of personal fulfillment because that was my personal fulfillment and triumph. It could be footprints of perseverance, of hope, of faith. And, and footprints of gratitude. On the other hand, they could be footprints bearing the temporary challenges of life, such as those of guilt and pain and, and miseries and fear. But those are temporary. Once again, take a minute and think of a noticeable footprint that you have left anywhere. And if you cannot recall any, let me encourage you before we get to the end of this podcast. Start creating some footprints now. Yes. Start creating some footprints now. Resolve that you will leave some footprints in the sand of time. You will leave some moments in time. And it's not just having those moments in time, but those moments in time will be for when you leave here. Others will be able to look at those moments and say, yes, he passed this way before. Yes, she passed this way before. She left a mark to it. You will be better for doing that. And as I always say, press forward into your peace and persevere into your, mo into your purpose because moments are memories that cannot be easily erased. Let me repeat that. Moments are memories that cannot be easily replaced. So go ahead and leave some moments in time because those will be your moments of purpose. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Moments of Purpose podcast. Join us again when we come back here to talk once again about moments of purpose and moments in time. See you soon.